So then guys, Apple have just announced the next generation of the iPad Air with the M3 chipset inside of it. But how does this compare to say the likes of the M2 iPad Air? Well, only came out around about a year ago. Well, today we're going to do a review of specs. We're going to compare the 11 and the 13 inch M2 iPad Airs to the brand new M3 11 and 13 inch iPad Air. So let's begin then with this comparison. So as you can see right here, what we'll have is the iPad Air M2 on the left and then we'll have the iPad Air M3 on the right for this whole comparison. So let's begin then first of all with the display type. So on the display type, both of these iPads, or I should say all four of the iPads, have a liquid retina display. This is very similar to the display we even got with the iPad 3, what came out so many years ago now. So really the technology behind it hasn't changed that much, obviously brightness and things like like this have improved over those years but we'll talk about in a moment but uh, essentially they are exactly the same displays that we have in both of these iPads. Now for screen size like I did say at the beginning of this we have the 11 inch models this is exactly the same for both the M2 and the M3 and then also we have the 13 inch models and the screen size hasn't changed whatsoever here on both of these models. But just in case you want to know for screen resolution on the 11 inch models they are 2360 by 1640 so no differences there and then the same for the 13 inch model it is 2732 by 2048 on both these models and just in case you want to know for pixels per inch for all four of these iPads whether it's M2 or M3 or 11 inch or 13 inch they do have 264 pixels per inch or 264 ppi so they're exactly the same and a very good display that is indeed now for brightness wise the 11 inch models actually have brightness up to 500 nits on both the M3 and the M2 models, but if you actually get the 13 inch model, you actually get slightly more brightness with this. You actually get 600 nits of brightness if you pick the 13 inch model, whether this is M2 or M3. Now the display refresh rate is still 60 Hertz. So we haven't gone up to pro motion on this. So if you guys were hoping to get a pro motion display, obviously this is not happening here. This is exclusive just to the iPad Pro at the moment. But then this is where the big changes start to happen. This is to do with the processor, the CPU. So with the iPad M2, we actually got an eight core CPU. This was set up with four efficiency cores and four performance cores and a nine core GPU too. There was a 16 core neural engine. Now the iPad M3 actually has the exact same setup. So we have again, four efficiency cores and four performance cores to make up the eight core CPU and the nine core GPU. And then there's that 16 core neural engine. But obviously that next generation of chip makes the difference and we can see this here in the Geekbench CPU scores. So in single core performance, the iPad M2 got 2,591, so near 2,600. And compared to the iPad M3, this got 3,159. So definitely an improvement what we can see right here. And then the multi-core performance, we got 9,837 for the M2 compared to 12,009 or just about 12,000 for the iPad M3. So definitely an improvement we are getting here in it. Obviously, it's not a huge, massive jump. I'd say there's a bigger jump, say, probably in single core performance than multi-core, where there's going to be differences to any apps that are utilizing that. That is where the difference will be. For RAM amounts, it's exactly the same. Now, the iPads, you know, the iPad Airs, ever since the M1, they've actually had 8 gigabytes of RAM. There's no difference here. The M2's got 8 gigabytes of RAM, and the M3 has 8 gigabytes of RAM. No matter what configuration you pick you will get that and it's the same for storage amounts the storage amounts are exactly the same on all four of the models of the m2 and the m3 whether it's 11 or 13 inch it's 128 gigabytes all the way up to one terabytes of storage so you've got the 256 and 512 gigabytes in there too then for operating system, both of them run on iPadOS 18. Now, one thing I would be saying is that the M3 version, obviously, will probably get an extra year's worth of security updates and operating system updates on that one. So for operating system updates, probably the M2 version will probably get about another five years or so, whereas the iPad M3 will probably get about another six years worth of updates. So just take note of that. Well, then with Apple Intelligence, both of them support it and support exactly the same amount of 
and Apple Intelligence features that are available right now. And that is obviously with iPad OS 18. All the features there are exactly the same. So yeah, that's really good to see there. And then for battery life, no matter if you get yourself the 11 inch or the 13 inch or an M2 or an M3, as you can see right here, it's up to 10 hours of battery life, no matter which of those models that you pick there. For wired and wireless charging speeds, they're exactly the same again. So for wired, we got up to 30 watts of charging here on the M2, and it's on the M3, it's up to 30 watts there too, no matter if it's 11 or 13 inch model. Obviously, no iPad yet has wireless capability. Then for weight wise, there isn't really any difference here. On the 11 inch models, they weigh 460 grams, no matter if it's an M2 or an M3 model, so no difference there. And then with the 13 inch models, they're 616 grams for um, both um, exactly the same. But if you do go for the 5G option, it will weigh about one gram more really. So 617, and then obviously it'll be 461 grams with the 11 inch. So not much in it too, if you actually pick a cellular 5G version. Now, water resistance, there is none on these iPads. There's never been on any of the iPads, sadly. So nothing here, no changes. And then for ports wise, like I did say before, we did have USB-C at the bottom of both of these iPads and both of them support USB-3. So this is up to 10 gigabits of speed on both of these. So this is really good to see. And we've also got that iPad accessory port. And then obviously the iPad M3, the new Air M3, has come out now with the new Magic Keyboard for the 11 and the 13 inch model with that new function keyboard. And obviously it can utilize that, what's really, really cool. Then moving over then to stereo speakers, both the iPad Airs, or I should say the M2 iPad Airs and the M3 iPad Airs support four speakers. They've all got four speakers inside of them. And all of the iPads also support 5G connectivity. So you can get a cellular version will cost a little bit more. Then for Bluetooth technology, both the M2 versions and also both the M3 versions, whatever size you go for, support Bluetooth 5.3. And then for Wi-Fi, it's exactly the same thing going on here. We've got Wi-Fi 6E in the M2 model and 6E in the M3 models. No differences there. And then again, I'm going to say exactly the same for the rear cameras. It's exactly the same on all four models. Whether you go for 11 or 13 inch model, M2 or M3, it's a 12 megapixel wide camera that can record up to 4K video. But what I would say is with the M3, maybe recording might be slightly sharper. Maybe pictures might be slightly sharper, but we'll have to test that out in real life scenarios there. Obviously the chip will be doing the differences. And it's the same for the selfie camera. Both of them have the exact same landscape, single lens camera, what's a center stage once 12 megapixel on both of these can record up to 4k video so no differences there across the board and technology wise and then for apple pencil exactly the same settings again so we have apple pencil pro here so we can support that and we've also got usb c pencil support too on both of these ipads then moving on then to the actual price there. So for the iPad with the Air, with the M2, this starts at 599 US dollars for the 11 inch, and it's the exact same price now for the iPad Air M3. And this is the base amount of storage, 128 gigabyte, with just Wi-Fi, no cellular. And then for the 13 inch model, 799 US dollars for this one. Again, with 128 gigabytes across the iPad M2 and the M3 Air, exactly the same same here so 799 US dollars for that base amount there then finally for colors they've kept them exactly the same again for Apple for the iPad Air M2 and the M3 we've got blue we've got purple starlight space gray we've got the four color colors that you can actually pick from there no differences and with that what iPad model will you be buying now, I am quite happy with the upgrades we got inside the iPad Air, but personally, what I think what should have happened is that Apple should have completely skipped out the M2. We should have gone straight to M3 at the beginning, you know, last year in 2024. We got the M4 iPad Pro. It made sense for Apple to bring out an M3 iPad Air at that stage, because in the past, we had the M2 iPad Pro and the M1 iPad Air. So you, know, you get the idea. We keep it a generation behind. And this is what Apple have finally done, but personally, Personally, I think this should have happened about a year ago, but I'm glad they finally have done it now. It is good. And what I would say is, is that obviously that with the M2 iPad Air, 
it's still a great model to get and there might be some good sales out there some good prices so do check out that because obviously getting the m3 is definitely an enhancement but obviously if you just want a little less power with a you know better price then i would be going looking out for deals with the m2 but that's just my opinion there because as we've seen really everything else is identical across the board it mainly is just that chip what has just changed that is it on that but what do you think of the ipad air m3 do you think this should have come out last year or are you happy it's come out this year and this was the right timing for it well let me know in the comments below and with that as well guys it's time to wrap up this video too so if you have enjoyed watching it please do press the like button and also if you want to hear the latest apple news reviews and comparisons make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell too until next time guys i'll see you really soon take care bye bye